into a bit of a bush bashing venture. Oops, <laughs> still in, um, <clears throat> oh dear, we're still in wine, wine. Ah, oh, here we go, thankfully. We're still in wine, wine, um, and we're just heading off to ah, a rocky creek. That middle bit there is incredibly overgrown, so we're gonna have to do a good tick check, I think, afterwards. But uh, also to keep a good eye out for sneakies. Quite work. What do you reckon's happened to the tree? I reckon it's been hit by lightning. You know, it's caught fire and started a fire in here. I don't like this very much. I don't have ooh, much of a head for heights. Not that this is that high, but it feels like they're about to go snappy snap. Danny don't mind. So we're just retracing our steps as we've gone a bit the wrong way. Looking at the map in the book, which has actually all the tracks on it, which maps.me does not have on my phone. I've seen very easily how that happened because we turned off just before the road where we were supposed to. But anyway. Today's vlog brought to you by Maps.me. Head over to their webpage and download the maps. <laughs> so we finally made it to where we were trying to get to. Um, about three quarters of an hour probably, longer than it really should have taken. But it's a nice little area. But uh, we're going to have lunch first and then uh, show you around. And I'll have a look and see about photos. But there's not so <laughs> Lots of nice little bits of uh, the rock that have been carved out by the water, which is really cool. So I just thought I'd share with you all what it is I do when I'm taking photos. So I always have a little wander around the scene first before I set up. Here's Danny. And often I'll do that with my camera. Um, at this spot I didn't because even though it doesn't show it that well, it was fairly steep. So I thought it'd just be easier to, to do without. But I, I walk around and I look at different angles and viewpoints and see what catches my eye. Now, unfortunately, there's a big log that's fallen down uh, the waterfall and that happens quite a lot with waterfalls and it usually prevents you getting a decent shot. So like you can see here, this would have been quite a nice view there if it weren't for that tree that's fallen in. So normally what I do is if I've got my camera, I'll just take a few photos at various points if I think they might be interesting. And then afterwards I'll sit down and go through them and just see which I think is going to work the best. I did end up taking a photo uh, just here, kind of lying down and hanging partly over the edge to get that fern in the foreground, but as I'll talk about when I show it, I just I don't think it really works because of that tree. So 
but I did end up liking this view a bit more, but just still struggled here finding something compelling, which happens. But it's always worthwhile just going and looking at the same scene from different viewpoints and different places because sometimes you can't always tell what's going to be a good composition until you're actually standing there. I don't know, some people I think maybe are better at um, working that out than others, but I'm not. I need to go in and stand there. Although sometimes it's funny when I get back and look through my photos, there'll be ones that I've rejected initially that I end up liking and wishing I spent more time on. But that's why I like taking photos as I'm scouting because sometimes I can still use them and I have occasionally. So I'm just scouting out where I want to take some photos. Um, I think down here, it's probably down from that area there. I'll have to see, I don't know how easy it'll be for me to get that up. Might be quite nice. Otherwise, quite likes the view looking back down there from up on that rock and maybe some little detail bits up the top so let's see what I come up with and you'll get to see them uh, in a bit this is what Danny does when I take photos Try it as I might, I just couldn't manage to get this composition to work. The log that had fallen down just seemed to prevent getting a really nice perspective. I did Photoshop it out just on the left there a little bit, but the bit that kind of goes up and over, I think still is messy and gets in the way. And it would take quite a lot of effort to get rid of that in Photoshop. And I just don't think it's worth it, unfortunately, but that happens quite a bit with waterfalls. back to the campground um, we're well and truly ready to get back to the campsite and have a relax and possibly crack open a beer and some dip thanks so much for watching hope you've enjoyed it uh, if you want to let me know which uh, of the pictures you like the best I'd love to hear your feedback I think there should be one more uh, episode from wine wine so stay tuned for that next time all right, catch you later.
little, that's better. This is the little fella that's making all that loud racket. The wah, 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 wah. This is the wah, little fella wah. that's keeping me awake all night. And notice how he's right under our tent. <laughs> that's our tent there. He's being very quiet. That's now. the frog there. Tent. Frog. This is why I don't sleep. Be careful, little fella. That was Danny dangling his nuts in front of the camera. <laughs> Although I probably should do that without actually talking about it. <laughs>